Welcome yet again to my playthrough of the LDC number 26 contest levels, and we continue with the root 2 levels. So starting us off is root 2 1. There's a sniper in the force, and this is by Armani. So, um... The laser in this level is deadly. Shoot lasers at the enemies and they'll be gone. So yes, um... Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and load up the replay here. No, 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 no. So, for route 2, uh, this is pretty much make a level uh, with an infinite amount of, of jumpers. Yeah, you could also use an infinite amount of other skills as well, but uh, the one thing that must be in there are an infinite amount of jumpers. And, uh, yeah, um... Just like Route 1, uh, I guess these levels can also be pretty difficult if done well. Uh, it done pretty well. And uh, some of these, yeah, a lot of these are like on, are still not completely trivial. Although, uh, it does open potential back routes, yeah, just because of the fact the jumper tends to be a pretty powerful skill too. Yeah, as I have found out, yeah, especially during the fixing of my own level, my own R2 level. But, well, uh, I haven't seen the intended solution for that one yet, so, um, um, and I am wondering if it is now, but, uh, I guess I'll wait and see when I get more replays for it. But anyway, for Armani's R2, yeah, this looks pretty nice. Um, I like the fact that the, um, <laughs> uh, the lone lemming here is like, uh, like gliding or slash parachuting out of the, um, um, out of the plane here. And so, yes, as... Uh, was mentioned in the pretext. Yeah, there are zombies. Yeah, who are pretty much on this tiny um, ledge. Yeah, right above a, a fire trap. And yeah, the uh, the goal here is to essentially eliminate all of them using the uh, laser skill. Yeah, the um, um, the limited amount that we do have. But anyway, yeah, we start with a, a pre-assigned climber slash um, glider. So he glides and then lands on here. Then uh, go ahead and jump uh, over these two obstacles. Oh yes, um, first one we aim a laser at this zombie. Yeah, he falls down and uh, gets torched by the uh, fire trap. Okay, and I believe we turn around. Yes, and yeah, where we proceed to eliminate, eliminate this zombie. Zoom. Uh, jump over the obstacle here. Okay, and then we're gonna go out to the left here. Yeah, over to the far left. Yeah, and then I jump on top of here, on, on top of the pot, so that he lands on top of the uh, leaf part of the carrot. Okay, and then jump over the water gap here. And then, uh, yes, give him a uh, walker to turn around. So he starts uh, climbing up the stalk here. Or this vine, I should say. And then, uh, right around here, jump, and then give him a shimmer. So then he goes along. Yeah, it's a long uh, shimmer section here. And then, yes, um, this level isn't too difficult, but uh, it can still catch you off guard, especially if you are not aware of some of the things that you can do here. So, such as, yeah, releasing a shimmer with a walker. Yeah, this is something that I tend to overlook a lot. Yeah, and this was especially something that I overlooked uh, when I was doing the, um, one of the bonus levels that's now included in the Lem Runner pack. Yeah, when I was um, solving levels for the uh, LOTY contest earlier this year. So yes, uh, yes, you you can cancel a shimmy with a walker. So when you do that, um, it will just simply stop shimmy and then just drop down. So uh, yes, then he glides over, and then yeah, we proceed to eliminate the zombie. Zoom, and then the zombie after turning around with a walker. Zoom, yeah, and then jump over, jump over the frog trap. Yep, and then jump over again. Yeah, uh, that that wasn't really necessary though, as he could. He would just simply glide over this, and then he could just walk o over that. Okay, and then we just proceed to get over to the, over to the far left side again. We will climb up the vine, and then jump again, and then shimmy. Yeah, now we can uh, shimmy a little farther. Yeah, and then he'll stop over here. And then, yes, give him a walker to turn around. And then another one, I think. No. Drops down. So he glides to here, and then we jump over the mushroom, and then jump over again. I like the music here. It's pretty nice. Uh, definitely has like an outdoorsy uh, feel to it. And then when we drop down here, we jump over the mushroom here. 
or, or rather to get over on top of the mushroom, I should say. Okay, climb up. And then once he's high enough, jump again. Then he uh, starts climbing this, and then we jump again. Now we are up here. Okay, and I believe we use a laser down here. Yeah, after we turn... Well, I eliminate this one first. Yeah. And then I turn around with a walker. Okay, now we will proceed to shoot this guy out. Okay, and then jump to get here. Jump to get up here. Yeah, he's able to step up now. Uh, no. So we need to, like, get up here again, it appears. So yes, we need to, like, go back to the far left again. So, yeah. Give him a walker to turn around here, and then jump to get up here. Okay, jump so that he glides over here. Okay, jump over the fence posts. Uh, to get to get on top of this fence, fence posts, I should say. Yeah, and then we jump, and then again, yeah, we just jump until we get to the far left side again. Okay, and then turn around with Walker, of course, over here. Yep, now he's uh, shimmy, so then we just go back up here. Okay, jump over the rock trap, and then here we're going to jump and then shimmy again. There we go. And yeah, I got to say, the outdoor tile set from Lemmings 2, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites, especially because it has a lot of green. Yeah, and green happens to be my favorite color. And I find it pretty interesting that Armani made a low in this tile set, because um, I also have a contest low in this tile set. Yeah, the, my very first one, actually, yeah, in the outdoor tile set. And that would be my rule three. So yes, we give him a walker to turn around so that he gets over here, drops down here, then give him a walker, yeah, before he um, drops into the water and drowns. Okay, give him a walker? No. We need to go over here to shoot this zombie out. Yep, now we give him a walker to turn around. Yep, yeah, jump. Get up here. Then he proceeds to get up here. And then finally, jump. And then... Oh, yeah, I find this pretty interesting that... Yeah, I find it pretty interesting that the, um, that he does not go off the top of the and die there. So, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, maybe it's just borderline, but, um... Well, yeah, we need to jump so that he is able to glide and land on here. And then that's it. So that leaves us with a bomber left over, which you can't use anyway, since um, uh, you only have one lemming and uh, you need to rescue him. So really, I guess that bomber is just simply a red herring that Armani wanted to draw in there, just to like um, see if people can like fall for it. <laughs> Not us veterans, though. Yeah, and I consider myself one of the veteran um, level-solving people on the forums. Uh, although not as like, um, not as like, um, good as some of the, uh, other ones though. Yeah, like Amani and Itchel, for example. Uh, but I'm definitely up there. Yeah, as, at least as it seems to be what the community uh, considers me. Anyway, Route 2 2, Perilous Parkour. Um, and we have a time limit of two minutes here, and this is, this is by Cray. I. I found this one to be pretty difficult, like, like harder than I thought it'd be. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know how to how else to solve this though, other than this very cheesy route that I took. Yeah, and I don't know if um, Crane has any plans to fix this, but well, uh, it definitely does seem like it's a back route though. Yeah, as it does spare a skill here, and I'm pretty sure that that, that the skill I spare is used in Nintendo Solution. But anyway, once the shibir drops down, yeah, we jump over to the grass vine trap. Yeah, make him a climber. And then jump. Uh, yes, and there are other entrances here as well. So these zombies here are just falling down and splatting. So yes, uh, it's pretty much, um, keep the lemming moving as, um, there are some, there's a zombie hatch right behind him and they will be hot on his, on his tail and we're not, um, um, fast enough. So then we jump to get up here and then jump to get here. Okay, and then we jump so that he lands on here. Yeah, that's a safe drop. He's not going to spot. Okay, and then here, in the brief moment that he's climbing, yeah, I give him a jumper so that he goes out the other way. And then I mine through here. Yeah, this is the cheesy part. Yeah, at least it looks and feels cheesy to me. Yeah, and then just before he um, falls uh, against canceled, 
Yeah, but after he breaks through, I give him a jumper. Yep, and then it, give him jumpers to avoid the zombies here. Yep, so it's kind of like playing uh, hotscotch there with them. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think it's just to like uh, get like the, um, to separate the distance from some more here. And yeah, I pretty much um, like what you call it, uh, like um, stun locked him in place here by assigning a lot of jumpers. Yeah, and it's definitely possible with the jumper, where depending on the uh, terrain setup, yeah, you can definitely stun lock the lemming with an infinite amount of uh, jumper assignments. Yeah, and because essentially when you do that, yeah, the lemming's not even moving forward frame. Yeah, he's he's essentially stuck in place. Yeah, hence I why I kind of called it a stun lock. But anyway, yeah. So after I've uh, do a certain amount of times, yeah, then I proceed to jump over the vine swamp. And then jump over here to so as to avoid the infection, because I believe uh, the lemming is still able to get infected even when the spotting is occurring uh, from the zombie. Yes, and then here I've um, given him a jumper to get him a head start from this zombie so that he doesn't touch him and get infected. Yeah, and then I immediately jump to get the other way before this zombie can fall down and infect him. Yep, and then jump the other way, jump the other way, jump the other way. Now we're up here, and then finally jump up here so that he starts climbing. Essentially, the problem here is that if he is a glider, yeah, then even when giving him a jumper, he's not going to start climbing because he's going to open up his glide before he is able to reach the wall and climb. So therefore, that was pretty much the problem I had when I was resolving this low. And so, um, eventually, um, what helped me avoid giving him a glider, because essentially what happens is that if you get up here, there's no way to get across this while being a glider. And so, eventually I found this, yeah, this cheesy part. Of mining so that I don't have to give him a glider and that's what allowed him to start climbing here but other than that I don't exactly know how else this level can be solved yeah and then up here I start bashing yep and then finally all this stuff to do is to give him a glider so that he lands on right where the exit areas and then he's able to get the exit and that finishes with 16 seconds to spare so yeah far from getting the um both the talismans here which are uh Using no more than 16 skills and also finishing with, uh, I believe, 55 seconds uh, remaining on the clock. Yeah, so at its current state, yeah, I have absolutely no idea how to get both of them and also how else to solve the low besides the cheesy route I took with the miner. But well, um, like I said, I don't know if uh, Crane has any plans to like, fix up the low some more. Uh, I just don't know if he's been busy or um, I just like somehow maybe like killed his motivation or something. I don't know. Yeah, I hope not. Uh, Route 2 Tree, The Living Infinite. Uh, this, this is by Itcho. <clears throat> Alrighty, so. Uh, 2 Tree. Uh, this one, um, yeah, uh, Itcho says to be of medium difficulty as, as compared to his other two contest entries. And yeah, I would definitely have to agree with that. Um, it's pretty close to, uh, probably matching the difficulty at the Route 1 level, though. Of his root one. Uh, but this one I found to be pretty good. Yeah, once I realized what the solution was. And a very nice uh, trick that's needed. Okay, and then... So with one of the lemmings, I go ahead and jump out to the left here. Uh, yeah, then I send out another one. Yeah, they both become climbers. Then I make them shimmy. Yeah, pretty long shimmy section here. Okay, drop down, and then bomb. So that the shimmy gets into the hole here. Okay, and then I start digging down. And then here, once low enough, we go ahead and start building. So he doesn't quite like reach over, which is a builder. But we save him with a jumper so that he gets up here. And then jump to get over the exit. Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of leeway here so that uh, there isn't one like uh, pixel precise assignment uh, to get over the exit. And then similarly when going the other way and getting past it. So we jump over, and then jump over again. So he lands before the pillar, starts climbing. And then once high enough, we go ahead and give him a jumper, so that he lands on top of here. And jump to get over here, and then jump to get over here. Yeah, this is like almost by high, I believe. So, yeah, I believe it is measured by where the fall animation starts. A dog. According to the splat ruler here, it does appear that he's supposed to splat, but uh, 
No, uh, since he doesn't, it appears to be safe by Pixel Dead. Either that, either that, or I didn't even measure it correctly. Okay, and then build, and then jump over. Same thing here, I think. Oh, actually, no. I think it's just simply where the uh, build a staircase is. Yeah, and it wouldn't be spot height, so no, it's fine. Okay, jump. And no, it might even be... No, 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 no. It's right where the... Um, right where the uh, terrain uh, um, starts. So, um, so no, it's fine. Yeah, so that's pretty much where you need to start measuring for the ball distance for the jumper. Yeah, so he starts climbing. Then, once he starts climbing here... Yeah, give him a jumper so that he goes out the other way. Jump to get up here. Jump to get over. And then jump... Another jump to get over here. Yeah, and then same thing here. Yeah, pretty close to spot high as well, but, um... Um, it is survivable, though. Yeah, and then use our last builder here. Yeah, jump to get over. Uh, no, he does not bash through that. Okay, jump. Okay, and then jump to get up here. And then at this time, I go ahead and release another lemming for the crowd. Yeah, jump, and then jump. Another jumper here to get over the gap. Yeah, he bashes through. No, he does not. Uh, yeah, jump. And then block here. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Uh, I need him to get up here to mine. Yeah, make him a uh, climber, make him jump. And then another jumper to get up here. And then, yeah, this is a pixel precise assignment. Yeah, we, we need to mine in such a way so that we use this checkerboard mechanic so that when the lemmings are going out to the left, they will uh, fall into this pit here. Yeah, and therefore turn back to the right. Yeah. Okay, nothing in the meantime, okay. And then, yeah, once the miner breaks through, then we go ahead and shimmy. And then, because of the turn through of the blocker, yeah, it reaches just far enough so that the shimmier would bounce off and then go the other way. Um, yes, and then I release another climber. I mean, another climber, another lemming. Yeah. Jump over to get over the gap, and then he's the one that should start bashing. Yep, and then I release the others. Okay, bash through the wall like I said. Okay, make them both jump over the gap. Yeah, and then here we need to jump and then shimmy. And then in the meantime, he jumps over to get over the minor tunnel. Yeah, jump and shimmy with the rest of them. And then uh, what else did I do? Oh, oh, it's just a shimmy here. Yeah, so like I said, they will bounce off the blocker. And then, yes, jump to get over the blocker. Okay, and then once high enough, we uh, jump. And there we go. And he'll just walk to the exit. And then at this time, I go ahead and release the blocker with a walker. And then once high enough, then he just jumps over to get to the exit. So yes, pretty much this was the hardest part to see. Just uh, using the builder and then using a blocker. Um, I was really trying other ways to see if I could like, maybe for example, um, get the builder close enough so that the, um, maybe the shimmers would like use the builder staircase to, like, get over here or something but no 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 that turns out to be completely wrong yeah instead i totally forgot about the fact that shimmers can uh use a blocker to um bounce off and then go the other way and it's pretty funny that uh intro made a low um using this uh, mechanic because um i actually had the exact same idea for root to low yeah because it uses the exact same thing yeah except i think in my opinion uh <laughs> my low uh, showcases it in a much cooler way yeah, but that's assuming that the Nintendo solution is now enforced. Yeah, which I have not seen yet, as I mentioned before. But, uh, well, like I said, I will wait for more replays for that. Yes, and uh, in the meantime, the others will get over here. We just simply jump to get over the minor tunnel. Yeah, jump to land the builder staircase. Yep, and then when they come back, then we uh, make them jump so that they get onto the exit platform. And that's it. So very nice. And it even manages to spare a uh, ship here. Uh, yes, this is my contest level for uh, Route 2, and as a matter of fact, I just realized while watching the video for my uh, for the Route 1 levels that I forgot to download the most recent version of the uh, pack, yeah, which just got updated today, uh, and I realized that because my Route 1 level did not show its most uh, current version, yeah, but not that it matters, since um, that's not the version that you're going to see anyway, yeah, instead you'll see another slightly different altered uh, visual uh, uh, version visually, but that will come at a later time.
But anyway, uh, this is one of my contests, though, so I will go ahead and um, go on to the next one, which is uh, Route 25. Let's go for gold. And this is my niche. Okay, um, certainly not a difficult though because of the fact that you only have jumpers, but it's still not that easy at all. Yeah, since you still need to, uh, it still requires a lot of thinking as to how you you need to like get certain limits through certain buttons here. Yeah, but here you start out with a pre-assigned climber hatch and also a pre-assigned slider hatch. So, yeah. So when he starts climbing, then I go ahead and give him a jumper to go out the other way. And yes, this is a... Uh, a um, cover track version of um, Gwen Stefani's um, If I Was a Witch Girl. Um, yeah, because uh, as you might know, yeah, she is, uh, she was part of a band called No Doubt. Uh, yes, when the first slider he jumps over. And yes, again, this is a safe fall. Uh, jump to get over here. Yep, and then next climber will uh, jump to get over here as well. Yep, jump with the slider so that he lands on top of the pillar here. And then he slides down. Uh, yes, he turns around and then we jump so that he attaches himself here and starts climbing to get to this button. So no, I did not jump with that slider there, but this one I do. Jump. Yeah, jump here and then jump there to go the other way. Yes, and then once low enough, then I give him the uh, jumper so that he gets into this area over here. This map, uh, yeah, it will probably help if I zoom out a bit here. Uh, jump so that he lands on here. Yep, and then we need to jump the other way. Yeah, so then he starts climbing and then goes out to the right. Yep, jump to get to this button. Jump to get up here. Uh, jump to get to this button. Uh, here, it's a climber, so yes. Uh, I just have him jump to get over here. Oh, what did I do? Yeah, and then here when he starts climbing, then I go ahead and make him jump. And then, yeah, after the slider goes down, then I go ahead and make him jump as well. Boy, there's a lot of things to keep track of here. <laughs> yes, and then this climber that's going out to the right, we go ahead and make him jump so that he gets up here. He'll start climbing and then uh, hit this button. Yeah, jump and then jump. And then jump. Um, he's just a slider. So yeah, make him jump. Start sliding. Then make him jump. Uh, make this climber jump to get this button. And then jump once he uh, starts sliding. Now he gets up here. And then make him jump again when he starts sliding again. And then jump. Yeah, this was the last button. So now the exit unlocks. And then jump again. So now he's out. Yep, and now the rest of them is just using jumpers to uh, get to the exit. We lots of jumping everywhere. Woohoo! That means I'm having a lot of fun here. Yeah, and the reason for a lot of the jumping here is uh, there's essentially a announcement here where uh, the criteria is uh, solved the level in under a minute. Yeah, this one cuts it pretty close. Yep, and then I uh, make both of these jump, yeah, so as to speed up the uh, um, them getting to the exit. Yeah, because this finishes with just a second to spare. Yeah, for the talisman. So without those jumpers, yeah, I it would have hit me at the minute mark exactly, which does not satisfy it. So yeah, pretty nice note that where you only have the jumper skill. But uh, as I said at the top of the um, at the start of the low, yeah, it doesn't mean that it's going to be an easy low though, because you still have to uh, do some thinking as to how to reach the buttons and how, then later how to get the lemmings to the exit. But other than that, it's a really nice low though. Yeah, it definitely showcases the jumper skill pretty well, especially in regards to interaction with the climber and the uh, slider. Alrighty, so that was the route two low. So that brings us to route three, which I will do next time. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all for uh, Route 3 next time.